Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. So as you can see, we have the Ace of Cups out here. You are possibly going to be having some type of brand new passionate beginning in love. Or this is what someone wants to have with you. Someone is looking over their life or some type of decision they made in the past in regards to you. And they are extremely disappointed in themselves for either partaking in something or causing you some type of loss or heartache. Someone was extremely determined to defeat you, but they didn't even understand why they wanted to defeat you in the first place. This could be like either you coming into contact with a masculine and they're interested in you and you don't know that the masculine is interested in you and you reject them unknowingly to you and they take offense to that, right? Or this could even be for some of you, you just, you knew someone was interested in you, but you were not interested, maybe because you two did not uh, vibrate or resonate with one another. Um, so the person took offense to it and maybe decided to group up with a group of people to have some type of victory over you by, uh, you know, either stealing from you or undercutting you, betraying you. Someone betrayed you heavily you may not be aware and now this person is facing some type of consequence for this because the truth is being exposed and someone is really heartbroken about that they didn't expect you to know so much um they didn't know expect you to uh be so much in the know it's like someone thought that you didn't know what was going on or that you didn't know what they did but you are aware of it and now they may want to come towards you to have some type of brand new passionate beginning in love with you have equal give and take with you and now there's a blockage right because they have to tell you the truth about actions they took in the past against you someone is seeing you as someone authentic they see you as the truth. So they may have partook in some type of character assassinations, things of that nature. But you are being seen as someone inspiring, genuine, and things like that. You have some type of news that's coming into you. It could be from this King of Swords. A lot of my readings I've been doing, this King of Swords has had a lot to say. He's been advocating for someone on their behalf behind the scenes. Yeah, this person went within or they sought legal counsel. There could be something going on here with lawyers and things like that. Uh, this King of, King of Swords may have done something in regards to some type of pentacles, offer, things like that. This person may want to build with you, um, but they are having to go through some type of healing. This is someone coming across as very stoic, but this is what they need to be in order to be with you. They may have gone to like a practitioner or something like that to seek advice. Maybe someone was even throwing you spell work uh, to get you to fall in love with them and things like that. Um, it just was not working. So maybe when they went to the practitioner and the practitioner may have told them you have to genuinely be interested in this person for the spell work to work. You have to actually have emotions for the person. This is like someone going to a practitioner repeatedly and they're like, hey, you must not know what you're doing because whatever you're doing is not working. She's not calling me. She's not coming after me. She's not chasing me. And then the practitioner said, I know what I'm doing. I've done this thousands of times and I don't understand why it's not working. And then she finally maybe or he finally comes to a realization that, hey, you have ulterior motives for this person. This is why this is not working. You're disingenuine, right? So this could be the uh, story for some of you and for others of you. This person just has a lot of healing to do and they've been avoiding that healing and now they're realizing that in order to be with you, they do have to genuinely go through their healing. And it looks like someone is doing that. Someone is very financially uh, set in life, but they have to go through some type of healing in order to connect with you. You two can possibly get past this little hump, whatever it is they did in the past, because this is someone showing up as a narcissist right this is someone that feels entitled to things so i don't know if their wealth is something that they garner in a ethical way the right way we're not going to look into that that's their business but someone struggles with narcissism they they have a huge ego and the universe is humbling them because they are telling the universe that they want to have a connection with you but to have a connection with you they have to be someone genuine authentic someone a little more spiritual than he is right now so honey it's a whole lot going on let's go ahead and get into this 
Someone has been sending, someone you watch me a lot, honey, and you keep sending me spell works to shut the heck up. I will not. It's not working. You've been sending me all kind. I think it's a few of you just, you, you work around the clock. You sending this, sending that. It's not going to work. I'm still going to get on here and do my content. You all can keep tr slowing down my content all you want, but it will still be posted. Okay, um, the shut up spells are not working. Obviously, I'm still here talking. The beauty spells not working. Assist is still gorgeous as always, honey. Um, the memory spells, I don't forget a thing. Okay, as a matter of fact, I know each and every one of you that are involved, but I will not be saying anything to you in person to let you know that I'm aware of what you're doing. Okay, someone wants to seal the karma waters, uh, so you all can keep doing those spell works all you want. Keep wasting your money and your time. Someone wants to steal the karma waters with you. And like I said, they have healing to do. You both have healing to do when it comes to this connection. If you decide even to connect with this king of swords, okay? Um, because this person did something extremely malicious. Someone didn't even know you when they started taking action against you. So that should let you know right off the bat this person's character is not solid. That someone would take actions against you without knowing you. Someone may have gotten paid to do something to you for some of you. Um, and they didn't think twice. There was there were there was no hesitation to take action against you. But now the truth is being revealed that they were in the wrong and that people had ulterior motives. There's a group here that just wanted to take you down and this person is now having some type of second thought. The universe has touched them to see things from a higher perspective. They now want to sail to calmer water. Someone may be traveling towards you to bring something to your attention or to just heal something with you. There's a lot of healing that's needed in order for this collaboration or this union to come together if you decide to listen to this masculine, someone is very scared to talk to you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there was an absolute betrayal. Someone is wanting to heal from this betrayal that they caused you. This is like one of the worst things that you can do to someone is to do is to act from behind the scenes like i have more respect for people that do things in the open but if you're going to attack someone from behind the scenes like throw rocks and hide your hand and then smile in their face i have absolutely no respect for you you are like the scum of the earth to me okay um so if you're going to be malicious be bold about it if you're going to be a bitch be that publicly don't do it from behind the scenes Okay, so this person is experiencing karma. This is what the Ten of Swords represent for me. Someone experiencing karma, a taste of their own medicine, because they did not heed to wise advice from counsel or from spirit. They accepted advice from someone that was pretending to be something they are not. Someone was heavily betrayed by someone they trusted, someone that misrepresented themselves. This is why they are in this predicament. And I'm getting that this thing of source may be absolutely pissed off because he's realizing that he partnered up with a group of people that had ulterior motive the whole time. Um, so he was never surrounded by friends. These were our enemies. They are all enemies of one another. These are frenemies, okay? They will do any and everything to each other. Betrayal, whatever you can think of, absolutely. This had to do with your work. Someone absolutely took action to block your work, block your finances, block connections for you, block your love life. Like people didn't want you receiving something specifically having to do with the Ten of Pentacles, but something is being looked over. The truth has been revealed about this Ten of Pentacles. It will be coming to you. This heavy betrayal was not only done by this King of Swords, it was done by a group of people. People have been doing something behind the scenes and trying to hide it. Uh, so maybe this is why someone is sending a lot of shut up spells to me, wanting me to shut the heck up because I'm exposing a little bit too much. That's not my problem, honey. I got a job to do. Spirit hired me to do this job and I have to do it. Oh, I get in trouble with spirit. Okay. All right. So, honey, I don't know if there's a karmic on the floor losing their mind, but, honey, somebody called 911 for their karmic. Somebody called 911. There's a karmic laying on the floor. Honey, if you're new to this channel, there are no intentions of me quitting my dear job to be a singer, a rapper, because, honey, I am not gifted in those departments. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
are, yes, absolutely. It has to do with your abundance. Someone is seeing you in a new light. The King of Swords is seeing you in a new light. They see you as the, the privileged lady. If you, you know, are a gentleman, they're seeing you in the gent uh, privileged gentleman energy, right? Someone sees you as very mature, down to earth, easy to get along with. You have a very positive energy about you, but you're coming from this waiting period into abundance. You're about to be living a whole new life, right? You're about to be stepping in to, you know, your bougie era, your bougie time. Yeah, King Queen of Pentacles, my darling. Like, I, I, I an absolute upgrade spirit is about to upgrade you like beyonce upgraded jay-z so they say anyways you are going through an upgrade in life which is well deserved this is what these people have been trying to block for you but absolutely will not be doing that someone is running away someone is on the run i don't know where you're going to go my yacht knows you knows where you are your essence is following you about so i don't know where the heck you're going to go it go we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom things are ex things are absolutely moving in the right direction balance is being brought into this situation you are receiving what is yours and these people are absolutely receiving what is there is karma okay that is karma coming back okay you you have gone through some type of dark night of the soul. When this whole debacle started, you were a completely different person. You may have been a bit on the naive side of things, over trusting and things like that. But now you are showing up as the queen of pentacles. You've gone through some type of dark night of the soul where you are healing. You are a brand new stinking person. Rip you out the plastic bag. You are feeling brand new, my darling. You are going through some type of healing or you've already gone through some type of healing. There is some type of secret. You may know something that people don't know and they want to know what it is that you know. But don't tell anyone what you know. Okay? Do not expose your hand to anyone. This is the advantage you have over these people. You know something that they don't know. And they want to expose it. They want to find out. People are going to start coming into your energy, trying to befriend you and things like that in order to find out what it is that you know. What's, what are you about to do? Someone is trying to figure out what your plans are. They want to know what you are going to do because they know you are aware of something. Okay? Someone wonder you living in fear. You are not. Okay? You are absolutely not. Okay, there's something here about finances. There's a secret about finances. Like something is being withheld from you. There's some type of malicious plan to leave you out in the cold from what belongs to you. This is what these people have been doing, but it's not going to happen. This is what they've been doing. It's like you're not just up against one person or one group. It's like multiple people working behind the scenes. Some of these groups may even know of each other and others of you. These groups don't know of each others, but because of jealousy, because of insecurity, because of greed, they are all taking turns to attack you in some way, shape, or form. These people want you to lose everything. Maybe these people think it's a secret that you are about to be in poverty or something like that. This is what they're hoping for you. Someone... On the other hand, in this group, this COVID, whatever we want to call it, they are experiencing what it is that they intended for you. Someone is living a false life. They've lost everything behind the scenes, but they're still walking around pretending like everything is okay. Someone is out in the cold. There's a queen of pentacles that has been left out in the cold. This is not someone who's a good wife material, mother, motherly, or anything like that. This is someone that's into maliciousness let's put it that way and she's been left out in the cold someone is trying to get away from this woman as far as possible you have a fresh start that is coming in someone is seeing you as as extremely resilient it's like they have watched you go through everything they've put you through and you're still out here in this energy regardless of what's in your bank account what's not in your bank account you're, you are still showing up in this energy and it's confusing people. It is absolutely confusing them. They're like, how can this person be showing up? 
with a smile on their face, we've taken everything from them. That is because you are your worth lies in what's in your bank account in your pocket. Others of us, our worth comes from the divine. Some of you have titles that were given to you by your peers, whereas we have titles that was given to us by the most high. Okay? Do the calculations and see why we are in this energy. Absolutely. You have a whole gang of people. People you don't even know, talk to on a red. You saw how this card just flew out? <laughs> you see that? I'm telling you, these people wonder you left out in the cold. But you have a, you have success coming in in business, in relationship, friendship, networks. Absolutely. And this is because of your character. You are genuine. You're someone that stands up for the truth. You tell the truth. You're a truth teller. So this is leading to a lot of abundance and success for you. Listen, we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. My darling, we are so happy for you. Uh, come come back and tell us the good news when all of this has been manifested and you're living your bougie life, acting like you don't know the rest of us. Come back and tell us. Okay, we want to celebrate with you. So maybe you and this King of Pent King of Swords are about to part. Listen, these cards are just hopping out of this deck today. Oh, someone went to a high priestess to get the truth about this connection. And uh, the high priestess told them that they, they are meant, like they have a soul contract with you. They will have success with you. I'm telling you, this is a pentacles keep popping out on the bottom. You are absolutely going to be successful. Not just in love, but in business, in life. Overall, you are manifesting a new reality. But this new reality has to... It's only going to come into being once you partner up with who, with who you're meant to partner up with, okay? But there's someone here that has been going to a high priestess to get the truth because there was just so many lies going on. Someone is like, I'm just sick of all the lies, the trickery. Yeah, a whole lot of lies, like mental games and things like that. Like, I want to know the truth about this person, People are telling me that this person is malicious, but I'm not seeing that when I see this person. So I need to go and find the truth out. So someone went to a different high priestess is what I just heard. So there could be a high priestess that's the, that this group goes to and she's a liar. She's being paid under the table to give false messages is what I just heard. And this masculine said, mm -mm, I'm going to go find out for myself too. I'm going to go to another high priestess to find the truth out. And he did just that. And when you look at that, he was told the truth. That you are his partner. Exposed. I'm telling you, the truth has been exposed. There's a high priestess here that lies for money. This person may not even be gifted or whatever gifts she has has been stripped away from her. I am telling you. <laughs> Listen, spirit is like, honey, you're finally where you're supposed to be. I finally found my calling in life, you all. Listen, if this high priestess is having a hard time. Someone is crying because they cannot take you down. Someone got paid to block a union, to confuse you. Someone has been sending confusion spells to you. Shut up spells like myself here. All types of spells. Someone did not want you waking up. They've been sending you dark energy repeatedly. Death spells. Any kind of spell she can think of, she's been sending it to you. It's not working. It will never work. Someone has been humbled. Humble. This is someone that does this for a business. It's what I just heard. This dark practitioner practicing she does this as a business people go to her they pay her money she says she's experienced she's been doing this for 20 years 30 years and they pay her really well they pay her really well for her her services and she's been successful in the past so she thought you were just going to be another piece of cake she was going to send you you know a little shut up spell and then you would stop talking but honey huh, excuse me that's not how that works 
She was gonna send you a little spell. You're gonna shut up. You're gonna give up on life. Now feel like taking care of yourself. Now feel like eating. Now feel like doing your work. You didn't feel like going to work. Even though you got bills to pay, you just don't feel like it today. Ugh, I'm just so tired. This is how you're supposed to be. It's not working. You're still waking up every day and doing your work. You're still speaking your truth, living in your truth, going on about your life like there's nothing going on. You could have some chaos going on around you, but honey, no one can tell because you have the peace that passes all understanding because of that beautiful, strong, and direct connection to source. Okay, so this woman is having a nightmare. She's losing business. People don't trust her anymore. People don't trust her services because she has been unable to take you down. Okay, you've possibly been in some type of battle with this woman and didn't even realize it. So it's been a one-sided battle. A one-sided battle. Someone intuitively know that it's over. The game is over. They need to throw the tower in, cut their loss. I'm telling you, cut their loss because your ancestors are not playing about you. Absolutely not. The truth is exposed about your character. You are someone solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Hey. Solid as a rock. You are solid as a rock, honey. And there's nothing this woman can do. Someone is afraid because they may be facing legal consequences for something they did to you. It's like someone going to jail or prison for doing spell work. And I keep hearing someone saying, you, you want to tell me I'm going to jail for doing magic? Yeah, honey. Because you didn't just do magic. You did some illegal things. Yeah. So, there could be a court case that's coming up for this person or they're currently in that situation. We don't know what to tell you about that, darling. You made your bed, lay in it. Okay, heartbroken because you are the truth. They want to heal with you, but they cannot. Someone may want to come in now and be your friend after they've done all of this shenanigans to you, trying to block you, end you. They said, huh, I know I was trying to end you, but I was hoping that we can seal the calmer waters and, you know, just make peace, you know, maybe be friends. Uh, honey, we're not looking for friendships over here. Stay where you are. Okay, Collective, you are not looking for any new friends. Absolutely not. There's a king of wands in here. This could be the person that was going to this dark practitioner, doing spell work and things like that. You know what? That makes sense. I don't get that this king of swords is the one doing it. It is this king of wands. Been going to a practitioner, got told that, hey, you know, that person you were going up against with a group of karmics? Yeah, 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 yeah. That one, <laughs> that's your soul twin. That's your soulmate. You two came from source exactly at the same time. You are the male version of her, and she's the female version of you. Will you look at that? Are you sure you still want me to keep going with these spell works? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I want her to be crazy about me. I want her to be sprung over me. I want her to be addictive to me. It didn't work. Now he's heartbroken. Lord have mercy. Heartbroken. He and the uh, 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 high priestess, they don't know what to do with themselves. They said, who the heck is this heifer? We throw on all the work we can at this heifer and she is still not budging. He is still not budging. What in the world is going on? The two of them have separated their business partnership between the two of them to... You know, keep sending you spell works and things like that. It's over because she was unsuccessful in taking you down. Will you look at that? You didn't even have to lift a finger. You just simply had to go on with your life. Lord, the most high is humorous. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, what is going to happen to this king of wands is what I want to know. Will he still be coming towards you? He cannot. This is someone that betrayed you. And he's going through betrayal himself. Honey, you are the queen of cups. The truth is being revealed about you. As I said before, you are absolutely the queen of cups. And these people tried to paint you in a light that was not fading of you. You are genuine. You're kind, nurturing, intuitive, spiritually gifted. You are a dreamer. You manifest the unseen into reality. Honey, 
Who can compete with that? Keep your keep your distance. <laughs> keep your distance from these people. They're going through a death right now. And I don't need a literal death, but endings. Someone is going through some type of rebirth. And it was much needed. This is someone that has been karmic for a long time. Doesn't have a mind of his own, even though he appears to be a leader. No, honey. He's learning a lesson the hard way. He's hoping that after all of this, you two will have wish fulfillment together. Absolutely. Uh, I want to say absolutely not, but will that spirit decide that? Someone is seeing you as wish fulfillment. You're about to be really abundant. They know you have a lot of money or uh, resources attached to your name. So they, there could be ulterior motives, but this person has been told if you want to have a connection or a relationship with this person, you're going to have to do it in a genuine way. And someone does not know how to be genuine. Can you believe that? There are actually people amongst us that do not know how to be genuine. It's not part of their DNA, apparently. I don't know which path they took when they were becoming human, but I thought that was part of us. Isn't that supposed to be part of our DNA, our genetic makeup? Apparently not. Someone is uh, uh, scoring really low on the genuine nature aspect of us. Okay. This Lord. Okay. So this is almost like, I'm going to put this in the reverse. There is no forward movement with you and this person. They're seeing you as wish fulfillment. It will not be happening because this person did something that was unspeakable. Unforgivable. They're going through karma. Yeah, Absolutely. There will be no movement forward for this relationship. You are receiving a new partnership. Someone does not want you talking. You're speaking the truth about someone. It could be a couple. They do not want you talking. They want you to shut up. It could be he and the person he partnered up with against you. There could be another couple in here that's going up against you. But they want you to shut the heck up, darling. They want you to shut the heck up or you're speaking your truth. You have your sword pulled out. Approach at your own discretion is what I'm hearing. This person, Lord. <laughs> Spirit. Spirit, I love you. You're my day one. Toxic city. Someone is upset you are speaking the truth about this toxic group. Absolutely. Someone does not want you speaking the truth. There's a couple in here that's extremely dark. They have led, brought chaos to a group. These people are fighting amongst themselves. People are pissed off that you're still talking. Or people are now pissed off because they're finding the truth out about what has really been going on. They did not know what they were partaking in. And they just assumed they were doing a little goofy thing here, a goofy thing there. They didn't understand the magnitude of what they were participating in. And it has been exposed. You keep talking. You keep going on with your life. You may have shown up somewhere and someone saw you and said, wait, hold up. Hold up. This person does not look destitute. This person is not dead. This person is not into toxic ways. This person seems to be doing just a okay. What the heck have we been doing? You told us she was going through an ending. Here she is, Lala gagging, moving on with her life, looking gorgeous. Same with him. What, what happened? So now the bitter Bettys, negative Nancys, they have to go back to the drawing board and regroup. Just like we are telling our ancestors, angels, and spirit to regroup and send us a better option. Honey, we don't want no toxic people. Toxic partner. Listen, I met my soul twin one time. Lord have mercy. Story time. Let me make sure the camera is still rolling. Okay, it's rolling. We have time. <laughs> I met my soul twin before. Honey, when I said a handsome devil, this man was handsome. I said, Chai, source, I didn't know you were making them like this. Bless you. So anyways, I meet this man. He's very handsome. Comes in the full package of what I've always dreamed of. And I'm like, okay, so he passed in the looks department. Let me study him. So 
that's how I move, by the way. I study people from afar. So I'm studying this man. I'm like, let me make sure his mind is not shaky, shaky. Like he's not in balance. Honey, when I tell you it was beautiful to look at, but there was nothing on the inside that I could resonate with, I was disappointed. But I knew this man was my soul twin because before I met him, I had seen him in my dream. I had seen him in visions, right? And I was supposed to help him heal, but Lord, the amount of healing this mister had to do, I just could not do it. So I went back to the drawing board with my ancestors. I said, absolutely not. I literally just got done healing myself with a whole lot of burdens and trauma. I cannot, I will not be partaking in this. So you all need to regroup. Send a different one. If he decides to heal, <laughs> then we can talk about, uh -uh. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm so tired. I can't. <laughs> but honey, it's just so later on, I received a message from Spirit like you made the right choice. So it's like they were testing me. It said, yeah, this is your soul twin. But let's see if you're going to do the right thing. Are you going to stick with this person just because they're good looking because they're your soul twin? Are you going to disregard the fact that they are extremely toxic and they like Jizzy Bells and things like that. Are you going to become a Jizzy Bell to please this person? I say absolutely not. I don't qualify to be a Jizzy Bell, honey. I don't like to share. Never been good at sharing those kind of things. You know, I don't mind sharing money, clothes, and things like that with people. But when it comes to men, I don't, I, I'm not good at sharing. Okay? I don't share. I'm not going to pretend to do that. The minute I find out I'm in a relationship with you and you've been doing something, uh huh? Goodbye goodbye okay so that's my little story about meeting my soul twin who was just on a different vibrational level i'm not judging him who knows what kind of life he was living before we met that's on him but honey your your enemies are fighting they are fighting fighting and fighting they don't know what to do with themselves. It's like every trick, every magic they're throwing at you is not working. You keep working. Uh, oh, honey. <laughs> they just keep pulling out tricks. It's like everything they do is not working. It's not working. These people are, what do we do? We did this, it didn't work. We did that, it didn't work. What do we do? How do we shut her up? How do we shut him up? What are we going to do? We were trying to make them confused. We've done all this work to confuse this person so they can shut up, so they can stop waking up in the morning. Nothing is working. What do we do? Not a goddamn thing. What you're going to do is take your karma and, and serve it. Eat your humble pie, okay? Because all this toxicity, you all need to heal from it. People are in competition with you to be you. I keep hearing this for the last few weeks. Someone is in competition with you to be you. And this is Queen, Queen of Cups reverse that keeps popping up in a lot of my readings. So it's possibly her. Honey. It's the man. Uh -uh, honey, what we, what we will not do is tolerate gaslighting, fake love uncertainty love offers whatever we want to call it we will not be tolerating that you know the do you know what the knot of cups do these people are so unsure of themselves so unsteady unstable one minute they love you the next minute is that mm, i cannot stand you and then the next minute i'm in love with you you're the love of my life honey you have an illness that you need to take care of okay it's called mental shakara your mental is shaky, shaky. You are in balance. Go and fix it. No, we don't want any love offer from a Knight of Cups. Oh, so this is the new plan to come in and give you some type of false love offer. It's not going to work. We're not focused on love right now. We're focused on our pentacles. Our building our legacies. Okay, so whatever love offer you are coming with. My friend, go back to the drawing board. Absolutely, this plan is not working. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I love my ancestors. I love you all. <laughs> Honey, I found my colleague in life. 
if someone is upset, they think that I'm trolling them. I'm not trolling you, honey. I don't even know if I know you, but I can't help it. This is my colleague. This is what Spirit decided that I should do. So we are here. Will you welcome us in peace? Stop hating. We are here. Okay, collective, let's get back to our reading. Whatever plan these people have to send someone in to gaslight you, gaslight us, star seeds is not happening. It's been put to an end before it even started. This person is blending, and before they're even done with the plan, spirit said, uh uh, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit your behind down. Don't go near my star seed. What's wrong with you? Someone wants to have closure with you as well. <laughs> Honey, you are living in your truth with passion. You're going for the things you want in life. And you have your ace of pentacles offer that's coming in. Someone thought they were going to steal this from you. But spirit said, absolutely not. This is our child's birthright. This is an offer, a blessing to them, him or her from the divine. So absolutely not. What is wrong with you? Yeah, honey, it is secured. Your offer is secured. Nothing your enemies can do to prevent this from coming to you. Okay, balance has been brought into a situation. Honey, didn't I just say there's nothing they can do to prevent this from coming to you? This, you have, like, you are about to accelerate. Acceleration, my honey. You are about to grow supernaturally. It's going to seem like it's something that happened overnight to a lot of people. But you know how much work you've put in behind the scenes. How much setbacks you've, re you've experienced because of these karmics. How much loss you've experienced. It's not really loss. The universe allows things like that to happen so you can grow. So it can mature you up. Right? So that's why it may seem like you lost something because of the actions these people took, but you didn't lose anything. Your rejection, their, re their rejection of you was your protection. Kind of like my handsome devil soul twin that I met. Okay? It was protection and it was a test from the most high. Okay? Honey, we need Jesus Christ to sanctify us and resurrect our mental with how handsome this man was, honey, we had images in our head that we should not be having. Okay? Sanctify us and redeem us, oh Lord Jesus. Thank you. So, you have growth coming your way. You are blessed. You are about to have multiple streams of income. You have a letter that will be coming to you. We don't know how it will be delivered, but it will be delivered. It shall be delivered. Just like our mental with that handsome devil. Honey, you see, this man was so handsome, I can I still see his face today, but I didn't know, mm -mm, honey, mm -mm. I don't want to start life over. So, growth is your portion in life, acceleration is your portion in life, okay? Multiple incomes are your portion in life. Love is your portion in life. Success is your portion in life. Clarity, illumination, purity, sincerity, are all your portions in life. Spiritual growth, ascension, and elevation are your portion in life. Honey, everything that is good is your portion in life. Have a blessed day. I will see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.